Hello, my Essentially Fit workout crew. So we are going to do a booty and cardio workout today and all you will need is a resistance band. If you don't have one, you can do the workout without it. It's just to help add a little bit more um, resistance to your workout, um, which is great. They're super inexpensive. You can actually go to CandiceRoar.com if you don't have one and you can order one of my branded booty bands. Um, the cloth ones are amazing because they don't roll on you. They don't dig into your legs. They feel a lot better when you're doing them. So go ahead and get your watch started. You don't need a mat. We're not gonna be on the floor today. We're gonna get warmed up. I want you to take your legs wide. You're gonna reach those arms out. We're gonna go to the side, side lunge and tap that inside of the foot. We're coming up to the center each time. Get nice and warmed up. and release. Okay, so I want you to step it forward. We're going to alternate a forward lunge. We're just gonna do some of the moves we're gonna do with the band on. But we're gonna get nice and warm up first. So you're pushing off of that foot that you're stepping out with. We're not going into a full lunge, just a little step forward, bend into it push off, coming back to center. You can check your knee, make sure your knee is going straight forward towards that middle toe, lining up in between the big toe and in between that pinky toe. All right, release here. Now I want you to do a modified jack. You're gonna step it out to the side, almost like you're doing a side lunge. Arms go overhead in between each one. You're getting your heart rate up here without the high impact of jumping. One more each side. Now, you're gonna march high knee in place, nice and tall. Swing those arms from side to side, coming in front of you, bringing up your knees above the belly button if you can. Focus on that breathing here. I don't ever want you to hold your breath. Nice and windy out here today. All right. Release. Now what I want you to do here is we're going to go into a diagonal lunge. So you're going to step it back like you're stepping to the side, but backwards a little bit. Front toe comes off the floor, leaning into the heel. And then we push off and come back to the front. It's almost like you're getting a little stretch in the hamstrings for that front leg. As you step back, that foot is to the side. So your toe points directly out to the side and then we push off and come back. So you're just leaning back into it. One more time. 
All right, you're gonna come up to center. We're gonna go right to the other side. Same thing, stepping back, bending that knee, leaning into it. You don't wanna go so fast that your knee kind of gets tweaked, so you wanna step into it and then bend and lean into it, okay? Always ease into those lunges until you get that movement down. Almost there. All right, we're gonna do a little jog in place and then we're gonna get that band out, okay? So if you need to, you can march and just hold that there. If you can jog, it's a light jog. We're going from one foot to the other, up on the toes, making sure that your feet are not making really loud noises and hitting the floor really loudly, but that you're lightly landing on the floor as you're placing your feet down. Okay, go ahead and release. We're gonna start out with our band around um, our shins here. So, just part way below your knees, but above your ankles as well. I want you to stand nice and tall, chin retraction, nice neutral pelvis, feel your abs are activated. You are stepping out to the side, getting tension on that band and then bringing it in. Notice, I am leading with my heel so that I'm using my glutes. We're gonna go back other side and I'm not pointing with my toe because if I point with my toe I'm using my quads instead just gonna adjust my band a little bit and we're going back four steps each way that's four back to the other side back Step it out. Now it depends on your resistance of your band or how much maybe it's been used as to if it's um, really tight and you're not stepping out very far or you know if it doesn't have as much um, tension then you can step out further. One more time to the other side and back. Feeling this outer hip, outer glute area, feeling the burn. One more step out. You're going to bend over, bring that band above your knees here. We're gonna go walking, squat. So sit back into that squat. Hold this position, you're walking forward. Walk it back. This is four. One, two, three, and four. Take it back, one, two, three and four. See, you can do this without a band and still feel the burn. But if you want a little bit of extra, you can add that band in, four up and four back. Holding it down, you can challenge yourself. Lower it a little further. I want you to make sure that your knees feel okay. If you need to come up, and release in between just to give yourself a little tiny break you can. We're not taking this super fast. We're just walking it forward and back. Holding that. Last one. All right, release. Now what I want you to do is we're gonna take hand below your knees here, a little bit further down about mid calf range. You're gonna hip hinge forward Take one leg back, tap that toe on the floor. Make sure you do a little pelvic tilt here, pushing the low back 
um, into that stretched position. Fingers on the wall if you need it, or if you have a chair to hold on to, you can lift that leg straight up and then toe back down on the floor. We're squeezing the glutes, working the back sides. Focus on that breathing, focus on that glute squeeze, tap that foot all the way down, get a full release, straight leg goes back. One more, we're gonna bring it in, step the other side back, still hip hinge, and square those hips to the floor, and lift, and lower. Adjust that band if you need to so that you feel that tightness and tension on the band as you lift and lower it back down. Focus on the breath, focus on a nice inhale and a nice exhale, feeling your booty squeeze, feel that tightness. Lift it and lower. Stabilizing leg might start to burn on that outside hip as it's holding you there. We just work glutes on that side. All right, release, bring it in. All right, I'm gonna let you step out of that band. Throw it over to the side. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of cardio moves here. So what I want you to do is I want you to step out into that modified jack. If you're okay with full jumping jacks, you can do those. As long as you don't have any issues with any um, pelvic floor dysfunction or leaking when you jump, I don't want you to do full on jacks if you have those problems. Or if you're in an apartment and you need to do workouts that don't involve jumping, you're still getting a great workout by stepping out and taking those hands overhead. Still getting your heart rate up. Stepping it in and then tapping it out to the side. Now, release. Now I want you to bring your arms in front. We're gonna open and we're gonna do butt kicks. So step to the side, kick the booty, tap those hands back behind you. Opening up the front side. Little quad and hip flex opener as well as your chest opening. Getting our heart rate up, continuing to move. Last tap. Now what I want you to do is you're gonna tap it out to the side, take your hands to the opposite side shoulder, and you're gonna twist and tap outside that knee. Continue, nice deep breaths in, push off. That stabilizing leg, pull that knee up, using your abs to help you twist and bring that hand to the knee. Last one. You're gonna go ahead and go to the other side, set it up, and then you twist towards that outside knee. One more. 
All right, release. You can grab yourself a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna go ahead and grab this band again. I'm gonna slip it on. Put it above my knees. All right, we're gonna go into a side lunge and come up and bring that knee up whenever we come back to starting. So step it out to the side. We're gonna stay on this same side. Bring it up, knee tap, side lunge. Opposite hand, bring it up, tap that knee. Push off, bring it up. With the cloth band, it for the most part stays in place. Just trying to stretch it out. Stay nice and tall. Lean into that side lunge as far as you can, as long as your knee's still okay. One more to the side. Step it out to the side, side lunge. Other side, tap that knee. Side lunge, we cross tap, bring that knee up. Focus on your breathing. Also make sure your knee's lining up with that middle toe again. Always wanna check that every now and then. Nice little rainstorm today, but it is nice out here. Not as humid right now at the moment, so not sweating near as bad. Last one. All right, I want you to go into a regular squat. The difference with having a band on is you're gonna push against the band keep it from pulling your knees in so you get a little bit more of glute activation here. So I want you to sit it back like you're looking for a seat behind you, pushing through your feet, coming up, push against the band. Notice that whenever I go into my squat, I keep that chin retraction, nice neutral spine. I'm not pulling my chin forward, getting that curve in my cervical spine. I'm keeping everything straight. Nice glute squeeze as you come up, keeping those toes planted in the floor as well as your heels planted in the floor. Last squat, bring it up. We're gonna alternate some curtsy lunges here. So I want you to take it back and tap to the side. Alternating sides, tap it out. You determine if you need to just be a little bit across and then slowing, lowering it down to the floor or if you feel okay to cross your leg behind you a little bit more. Make sure those knees feel okay. It's that front leg that's doing the work, getting you back up. Last one. All right, we're gonna slip that band off again. All right, you ready for our cardio segment here? Ending it off, we're gonna jog in place or march in place. So you can start out marching or you can take it into a jog. Focus on your breathing. A 
lightly landing your feet on the floor not hearing a lot of movement here you want to lightly place your feet on the floor so you're not clumping like this you don't want that you want light footsteps control that movement that's what it's all about anytime you feel like you need to march you can take it into a march picking those knees up with that arm swing still getting a great cardio activity here So we're gonna release. What I want you to do here is I want you to sit it down, narrow squat. We are stepping it out, bringing it in. A little lean into it. Step it out. Step it out, lean into it, go back narrow. Holding that squat position. Feeling those quads start to burn. One more step out to the side. Now I want you to go wide legs. You're gonna stand up, give yourself a little breather. We're gonna go wide legs, toes turned out. But what you're gonna do is we're gonna squat down, come up and raise up on those toes. Little calf activation here. Get, get those heels up off the floor. Woo! Feel it all calves, hamstrings, quads, booty, nice and tight. Readjust if you need to. Last one. All right, step it in. Now what I want you to do is we're gonna go into a forward lunging walk and then we're going to come back so we step it forward and up step it out now back push off so it's like you're going into a forward lunge step it together reverse lunge last time walk it forward step it together step it back Step it back, walk it forward, and back. Step it together. All right, I want you to come back into a squat. Raise it up, raise up to those toes. Now if you like, and you wanna do a little hop, a little controlled, Hop, you can or just stay lifting up on your toes once you get up into that standing position sitting it back pushing through all the way up lifting up to your toes Woo! I feel the burn last one all right release Step it up, grab your foot. Let's get that quad stretch. Push those knees together and push the hips forward. Feel that pull in the front side of the thigh. Nice deep breath in. Well, that stretch feels so good. I want you to release that leg. I want you to bring the heel on the floor, bend at the other side. You're just hinging forward over that toe, pulling it up, feeling the stretch in the back side. Maybe a lot in the calves. Maybe you feel it behind the knee. Nice deep breath. We're slowing our breath down. And roll it up. 
I want you to swap sides, grab the other side, quad stretch. You need to hold on to something you can. Bring the hips forward. Booty is close, or the foot is close to your booty as possible. Knees together. You guys are doing great. I appreciate you tuning in, doing your workout, letting me know how you're doing. We're gonna really take that heel down. So up towards the ceiling, we're bending forward, hinging at the hip, we're not rounding the back. Hold, if you wanna pull that toe up, you can. Focus on your breath. Good steady 130 beats per minute um, heart rate throughout this workout. Slowly bring yourself up. You guys did amazing today. Thank you for joining me. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. Have a blessed day.